everyone, so today this video is going to be about how to wave your hair. I've seen this everywhere at the minute, everyone's been doing it and I'm loving it. I've seen so many people wearing it, so I just thought I'd show you how to do it. I'll give you some little tips and tricks on how to make it last. I've got a lot of hair, so it makes it look quite thick, but I'm loving it. So yeah, if you want to find out how to wave your hair, keep on watching in this video. Just quickly, mine's the Diva Professional Styling Big Waves and it just looks like this so it's like a massive crimper basically you literally like clamp it on your hair as I'll show you throughout the video and work your way through your head so I'll cover it all in the video but this is just what I'm using if I can find a link to it I will link it in the description so check it out there if you want to have a look at this one if I can find a link if not I'll link a similar one um, I know a lot of people are using the Mark Heal one at the minute I use the Mark Heal um, pick and mix curler I know that it's a good brand, trustable brand, and obviously I'm using this one now as well. Yeah, you can use whatever you want really. This was just my way how to do it. So if you want to find out, thank you for watching the video. Also, if you do enjoy it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe as well because I've got lots of new videos coming. I'll see you in the rest of the video with my natural hair. This is like my natural hair. I literally washed it last night, have slept on it and have not yet brushed it this morning. So it's just like wavy yeah obviously i've got a brush just before i start because you don't want it to be like knotty or anything and normally after i wash it i put on an oil on my hair it's the garnier i can't remember the name of it it's a garnier oil anyway it's in like the brown bottle and i showed it in my last video about my hair so now it's all fluffy cute that's that brushed out i need to not leave these on a blanket because I'm going to actually burn it. Normally before I use any heat products on my hair I will put on a heat protector but I run out of them in it. If you've got a heat protector put one on. I don't so I'm going to just fry my hair off today. And I've got a mirror here so if I look this way that's where I'm looking. All you do is just like grab a section what you use for like curling your hair or maybe it's slightly bigger because you can fit more in these. And they're just like a little wavy sort of shape. It's like a giant crimper basically. And you literally just like stamp it on your hair and then you have a wave how wavy you want it it depends on like how long you leave it on and then just move down the section and stamp it again and then oh, one last one at the bottom there and then it's like your first wave so i'm gonna go and like do this throughout my whole head and then afterwards i'll come back and like break them apart but you want to let them cool first otherwise they're more likely to drop it works with like curling your hair and all that if you let it cool first before brushing it out it's going to last a lot longer just because of like hair structure and the science behind it won't bore you with it it will help it to last longer um, and i'm going to go from the back because it's easier to like chop it over your shoulder and get it out of the way and then on this side as well because i've got my hair parted over here not very well parted i need to redo that that's a bit better but yeah I just split my hair down the middle in the back and then I will work from the back and then go forwards and then as you've done that section chuck it over your shoulder so then it's out of the way just easier to kind of deal with the work of that one bit there I'll fix that in a minute um, you can hairspray it as you go if you want as well if that's better for you if your hair doesn't hold things like this very well I don't know how long I'm holding this for I'll count I guess like seven to ten seconds maybe but that all depends on like how thick your hair is, how like damaged it is and stuff. So I've got that, I'm gonna like chuck it over my shoulder. And this gives a sort of like effect of almost like plaiting your hair does, but just more dramatic. So if your hair maybe doesn't like curl very well with plaits, this might be a really good option for you. And I think you can get wavers that are a lot bigger than this one as well, and probably a lot smaller as well. So depending on sort of what effect you want, they probably sell ones for it. So I'm not starting right from the top of the root, just because I don't want it to like look too crazy because I've got quite a lot of hair as it is. Um, I'm just starting a little way down and this isn't that far down that I'm starting with these underneath ones. But when I get to the top sections, I'll bring it down a little bit more just so it's not bouncing out from the root. So this is like a section that's a bit more on top, so I'm just going to start a little way down and then if I want it higher up, I can always go and add another one higher up. This doesn't take too long to do really. Quite a bit of my hair already, it's not taking me that long, it's taking me like five minutes. So 
So for these like front and top sections, I'm starting sort of probably around my ear. And then if I want to go higher, I can always add more in height. It's really easy to do that with this because you're just literally just like stamping it bit by bit. So that's one side of my hair done. I think it looks so cute. And then I'm just gonna do the other side and then I'll come back to it after and sort of like shake it out a little bit. So this side's a lot thicker, so I'm gonna actually section this in like two halves and tie one part up. So I'll just put that in a little bun out of my way so I can get on with this section. So I've done that section, so I'm just gonna do the rest of this half and then I'll get back to you. So now I've done this bottom section and all of this side I'm going to take down this top bit and then go ahead and start this bit basically. If you like push it up whilst you're doing it rather than pulling it straight you're going to help the curls stay in a lot better because when the hair is hot is it's like the most vulnerable state of change. If you try and like push it up whilst you do it you're going to help that that wave there staying a lot better. So if you pull it, that's gonna try, like set it straight. Whilst they're still warm, you don't wanna be playing about with them too much because they're gonna drop more. With the fringe one, I'm gonna start quite far down and see how I like it and then add one up if I want to. Because this is like the bit that like frames your face the most, I guess. Oh, why am I doing? I really love this look. I think it's nice, something different from the basic like straight hair or curly hair. You can't see like how long it is with the waist because it's made it a bit shorter, but it's like down to like sort of here, kind of. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put some hairspray on this. I was just letting it cool a bit. Put some hairspray on it and then like give it a bit of a, a, bit of a shake. And as well, what you can do with like, once you've slept on this and then it's like the next day, either Putting some of it up works quite well or getting some serum as well or like hair oil and just like running it through it because that helps to sort of like define the ways a little bit more again and sort of put it back together if it's gone a bit frizzy or something. You don't particularly want to put like a massive brush through it so I would not use one of these now because if you've ever slept with plaits and then brushed it after, oof, it goes massive. Which I did for Halloween once and it looks really cool but not quite what I'm going for every day. And as well, like clipping a bit up can work quite well. I normally will just like tuck this behind my ears throughout the day. I feel like it looks really weird on camera this bit, but it doesn't in real life. Yeah, so this is just like a really cool idea at the minute. I'm really liking it. I'm definitely gonna be using it more often. It's just something a little bit different and I'm liking it. So I've just seen a lot of people wearing this, so I just thought I'd upload this little video to show you sort of like how to do it, how mine turn out, what I use, any little tips and tricks that I've got here and there. So the hairspray that I've got here is the Tresemme 5 Hold Freeze Hold Hairspray. Probably not my favourite, it's quite a crispy one. There was a got to be one that I used before this, but I took it on holiday. So I'm using this one. It's still good hairspray, and where it's quite crispy, but if you have difficulty with the hair, like holding curls and stuff, I'd say it's probably quite a good one. So yeah, just pop some of that on it. That's what it looks like from the back. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna like shake my head upside down and like not run my fingers through it, but like, I don't know how to like explain it. Flip my head upside down and like shake it from the root, basically. And then just flip it back up again, just to give it that bit of volume and like break up the curls ever so slightly without making it too big. That's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and leave any comments for other like requests of like tutorials or any other kind of video that you want to see. Yeah, that's it. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye!